Welcome to Lockdown Systems, my body boys. We're gonna be dying a lot today. I, I, I get the feeling. There's... Okay. The thing about Lockdown is that there are, are a lot of... Um, there are a lot of things going on here. Oh god. Yeah, I tried to run away. Didn't work. Um... And there are also a lot of things that I will gain today, so that's nice. Like, um, god. There's... <laughs> I'll just spoil it, why not? I think we're gonna get it today, maybe next week. But there's a, there's a, a charging device that, like, gives a, a line for the way the, the balls will move. So that'll be very helpful, especially now. Oh boy. I do kind of wonder what the purpose of the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the things that hurt me are. Like, is it just, um, it might be energy transfer. It might be uh, the sapping of energy. That'd be interesting concept, surely, in terms of how it would work. Concept, surely. Yeah, just just pardon my enunciations. I am apparently having a hard time speaking words today. Uh, I believe down here is a healing. I'm using prior knowledge to get what I want, alright? You can't really fault me all that much, can you? I'm holding down the button. Here we go. Yep. I was trying to... Okay, wonderful. I, <laughs> I was about to say that I was trying to shoot it down the line, but then I did, and it went touched nothing, so maybe that was a stupid idea from the get-go anyways. Whatever. Fog! Thought somebody's phone was ringing. I kept hearing buzzing. Kinda wacky, but hey, that's uh, none of my business. I don't really care all that much. Um, let's uh, break these. Oh boy. Yeah, I forgot about that. I really should be able to take some of these things on much quicker than I do. But, you know, I don't. Oh well. It's, it's kind of interesting. Pinball has always been one of the things that I really like. And really kind of interests me. But it's... Not exactly something that I'm the best at, personally speaking. But uh, I don't know. It's it's an odd. It's you know bells and whistles, things like that. Ooh, shiny, moving around. The 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 freaking squirrel brain that I've been equipped with my entire life really enjoys watching shiny things move. But um, I don't know. It's kind of odd, just the game itself. There are some things, I guess specific tables, that I just hate. Like, um, god, I have an app, actually, Williams Pinball app, where it has a bunch of tables on it. But there's one that's, um, I forget what it's based off of, I think it's Highway 2 The Getaway is the name of the table. And it's just like my least favorite thing to play on. <laughs> I just don't like it. Um, it's I have a hard time with hitting the ball at some of the shorter angles. I think is what it is, and like everything on that table is either like you're going into the you're getting um, outed, you're getting guttered, things like that, or you have shot it at a very short angle. 
Not really. It's not as cut and dry as that, but it's 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 a wacky table. I just don't appreciate it as much as some of the others. Um, the definite verified number one Williams pinball table, Medieval Madness, is actually in fact uh, worthy of that title. I can tell you that much. Medieval Madness is an interesting little spat. Oh boy. How do I not get hit there? This is uh, fun and fair gameplay. I hope you remember it. Anyways, that's not what matters. What matters right now is sucking the power out of all of this. And hell, yeah, I have a. Uh, there are there are healing points that I've uncovered. Right? Did I find one yet? I mean, there. If there isn't one here, there should be one coming up fairly soon. Oh, that was my phone, dude. I'm getting texts from my girlfriend, and I'm still sitting here playing video games like a like a fucking. I mean, crap. It's too late now, like a fucking moron? Haha. <laughs> Who am I? What am I, one of those fellas that plays Call of Duty all day? I don't play Call of Duty, actually, because I suck at it. But, um, let's just not worry about that. Please go in there. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please! Please! Jesus Christ! It's like when I... They gave you so much time for this. Okay. I'm pathetic. This is... I... I... I, I really feel kind of like bad for... I did it again. It wasn't even all that big of a... Dude. Not cool. I did it like first try when I came in here for my own playthrough, but I guess I'm uh, just kind of bad right now. Um, I think I can get it. There we go. Ooh, boy. Yeah, that was, uh, it's, it was similar. Oh, cool. Secret pathway. I think this leads to what I was talking about. Yep! The dual blades. You'll see where the ball can go. And that is, uh, very, uh, very good, very good, fast, and incredibly accurate. A very nice descriptor, very helpful for what I'm doing because I, I am, again, terrible at this game visually. Um, I don't... I guess it would be worth knowing where exactly, like, see all that? Look at that. It gives you a little guideline. Hog. Oh, God. They really like having these rooms, huh? Whoever designed this thing, I'm gonna kill. Free. It's my phone. I'm the one with the phone going off. Kick me out of the theater. I dare you, Alamo Draft House Cinema. Is Alamo local? I've lived in Texas my entire life, and like specifically one part of Texas, and I I really have no idea if something was local or not. Like, I had heard all the time that, like, A&W and uh, Whataburger were local. And that's cool. I mean, it's kind of sad for people that aren't local that they can't eat at Whataburger, but that's not really my problem, is it? Maybe you should live in a better state. Haha! <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Just, like, it's, it's weird thinking about it. But, I mean, there are plenty of things that I just straight up have never had. Like, up until, um... God, I don't remember what it was. It was a couple months ago. I had, I had never had Culver's, um, which I guess is... It's not even local, it's just kind of... I would call it a Wisconsin thing. People in this town have stopped believing the machine would work centuries ago. Oh yeah? They believe in me now, because I am here. Dude, the creature is All Might, confirmed. Where have you been the last few hundred years when they needed you? Um, up your house to the left? I am their savior now. Uh, I will not let you jeopardize that. Well, survey says... And now everybody can sneer at me in the comments. Alright, cool. I do, in fact, 
not really watch game shows. Oh, but look at those spindly arms. I always wonder just a little bit why beastly creatures bother with um, wearing things like gloves. Just a little bit. It was always kind of a an interest, an interesting thing for me that um, it's kind of a trope that humanoid creatures wear humanoid clothing. I don't know. It's I guess that depends on what the uh, the creator of the universe decides in terms of um, what is considered moral. Or if it's a basis of general morality or um, individual in terms of the species. Like, um, gotta hate talking about it because Piers Anthony is a really weird guy, but um, Piers Anthony's Xanth series had an interest, is an interesting thing, kind of like that, where centaurs are like unbelievably prideful and they. I guess they're um, kind of mentally more horse than man, which is funny because the top part's the man part. But like they don't wear clothes and stuff, and they don't do magic. That talking about doing magic or not kind of gets more into the um, the lore of the Xanth series itself. But I I'm not going to explain that right now and. It'd be kind of spoiling uh, what is like a 50 year old series. Is it actually? Oh my gosh, yeah, that was the 70s. Hold up. Xanth is 50. Jeez. Withdraw, creature. I'm tired of facing you. Especially with crap like this. Eh. Please, stop hitting me. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I know where it is. There we go. Alright, it won't hurt me anymore. Come on. There we go. No, oh, come on. Wait, what? Uh, that happens way too often. What? Okay. There are just things in general about this game that are kind of wacky in terms of function. Like the fact that I am only apparently able to hit one ball. Uh, really wacky, but hey, who am I to judge the physics of this game? How old is this? I, n I never actually found out when exactly this game is from. Um, I might have to look that up later. Anyways, it's lore time, fellas. That time again! Philip Frog, the project lead, dude. I asked the engineers to log their encounters with the creature in the darkness, and the data coming back is hundreds of pages of conversation. They're co they're talking to it. There just isn't time to read all of this and finish the work that remains. Well, that's quite unfortunate, Phil. Is there a nickname for Philip that isn't Phil? Anyways, the console was smashed by the creature. I managed to get it working again, but the screen and input are all useless now. That's extremely unfortunate. But you know, whatever. There are eyes in the darkness that are watching me as I work. I've been watching the engineers, too. We lose, bots. And when I finally find their broken bodies, I also see those eyes in the shadows. It's extremely unfortunate. A series of hastily thrown switches that are disconnected prior to the machine's protocols. Dried blood covers the... Oh, boy. <laughs> Flipping the switches, it looks like it will restart the system, but they are behind a password-protected panel. A blinking cursor on the screen prompts an automatic memory to a password that you didn't realize you knew. Roger Frog. Interesting. Roger, you say. I might have to talk to Roger Frog a bit later. Isn't that like Roger Frog Jr.? I forget. Charging the function of this. I'm changing the function of this facility to focus on security and renaming it to Lockdown. There's a creature in this mountain, something we didn't expect to encounter when we started building. We need to start planning a backup protocol in case something happens. This is another interesting thing. This is the second game now where you enter into like a dystopian kind of world where there are humanoid frogs. Um, but in this case, it's kind of cart before the not cart before the horse. It's completely the wrong. Anyways, the frogs made us, uh, the player character. 
but the player character is unmistakably human shape. I'm standing on the mop. Why am I floating? Dude. <laughs> this is crazy! I heard that bots the engineers were powerful, but it's amazing to see you in action. Thanks for clearing the way to those control rooms. The archive logs are in the in there to yeah. The archive yeah. Also I've been following you. Hope that's okay. Never thought I'd see this happen. Weather system control is the final gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. How about that? Well for now, let's at least turn this on and I guess I'll get my I'll you'll get yours. That pulls up like five monoliths, by the way. I think that is all of them. Weather control monolith contains primary control room for activating weather analysis and storm regulation. Yeah. I think this might mean I have to do four more. No, there are four more, though. Um, we're getting close, fellas. We're doing interesting stuff. For now, I'm going to upgrade my core. We have the cores for that, right? Pretty sure. I mean, I got the cape and everything. <laughs> and I'd like to think there are interesting changes happening in the town, but I don't. I don't know that that's actually true. Anyways, yes. For now, like, comment, and subscribe, or I'll smack you with a wooden spoon. I guess that's more of a last episode kind of thing, but I'll still say it now. I'll beat you like you're my child and you've been misbehaving, and I'm not actually going to hit you, hit you, hit you, so much as give some spankings, you know. But, you know, huh. <sighs> I hate people. I'm not going to explain. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.